Patrick Sean saw it! I'm Kuroki. I'm a college student. In my free time, I like to go hiking. One day, I was up in the mountains with my friend Akamatsu. But then, on our way back, it started getting really dark. We still had a few miles to go. I think we stayed up there for too long. Come on, walk faster! My bad, my bad. It's getting way too dark. This isn't safe. Hey look! It's a cabin! Ah, oh, thank goodness. Let's go inside. I think they're still open. It was too dangerous to keep going like this. So we decided to go in. Hello? Welcome. Huh? Um, do you have any rooms available? It's just the two of us. Uh, everything okay? Huh? Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot my pen in the office. Be right back. Oh, okay. Kuroki, she's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, she's a good-looking woman. I think she's in her early 30s or so. She's so my type. Maybe I can get her number. Dude, stop it. She's working. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. Is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's fine. Okay. Um, could you fill these out then? Okay. Hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Um, sorry to ask this, but this is your real name, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, of course. Why would I use a fake name? Uh, sorry, forget I said anything. I ask the same question to all of my guests because, well, if you forget something here, we wouldn't be able to call you, so... Oh, I see. Uh, I'm Akamatsu, by the way. Can I give you my number, too? And, um, if it's okay with you, I'd love to get your name. And maybe your number? Akamatsu, stop it! <laughs> I can't give you my number, but I'm Yuzuriya. Nice to meet you. Yuzuriya? That's a beautiful name. Sorry about him. He's just being an idiot. <laughs> it's okay. That night, we were the only guests there. So we stuck around for a while and chatted with her. Turns out she was into hiking as well. She used to be in the hiking club back in college. I love hiking, the nature, the view. I love everything about it. And it helps me relax, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's nice to get away from all the noise in the city. Yeah, and hiking. It brings back a lot of memories for me. Huh? When I was in college, I had a boyfriend. He was in the hiking club with me. What? You had a boyfriend? Ah! Why do you seem so upset? <laughs> But after graduation, he moved away and we kind of drifted apart. We tried to make it work, but yeah. I see. That's part of the reason I'm working here. I think he still likes to go hiking, so maybe I'll run into him someday, you know? Uh, I don't think I stand a chance here. Dude, just shut up. Give it up. Uh... <laughs> Your friend is funny. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, then, let me show you to your room. Thank you. Let me help you with the bags. And, um, just making sure. Your name is Kuroki, right? Uh, yeah. Why is she so concerned about my name? Something felt a bit off, but I didn't think much of it. After that, we went downstairs to eat dinner. Then we headed back to our room to get some sleep. Hey, Akamatsu? Yeah? Why do you think she's so concerned about my name? Huh? Your name? Yeah. She kept asking me if that was my real name. I don't know. It's probably just a rule. I wouldn't worry about it. I guess. But wait. What? Maybe something happened. Like, someone got murdered here. And the killer was using a fake name or something. You never know, man. Maybe we'll see ghosts of the victims tonight. Shut up, man. You scared, Kuroki? What? No! I was a bit scared, though. I hated ghosts and stuff. I couldn't really sleep that night. It's still dark out. I can't sleep at all. Thanks a lot, Akamatsu. Huh? What was that? The next morning, 
<laughs> you for real now? You were probably dreaming. No, man. I know what I saw. Hey, Yuzuriha, um, did anything happen in this cabin? Like, in the past? Huh? Uh, not that I know of, no. See? Told you, man. It's just in your head. Uh. Maybe some kind of animal got in there. You said something was staring at you, right? Yeah. Not sure if it was an animal, though. Well, we'll be going now. Thanks for everything. Thanks for staying with us. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Have a great day. You too. And so, we left the cabin and started heading home. Then, on our way back... Ugh, so sleepy. I couldn't sleep at all last night. <laughs> Sucks for you, man. But you got to meet a beautiful woman like Yuzuriha, so stop complaining. Ugh, whatever, man. Ugh. Hey, now, don't fall asleep just yet. Hello. Hello. Huh? Kuroki, wake up! What now? Another beautiful woman? No. The guy who just walked past us. He looked exactly like you. Oh. I'm serious. He looked exactly like you. You don't have a twin brother, do you? No, man. Lots of people look like me. Come on. I'm serious, man! Hey, wait for me! See for yourself! I'm telling you! I'm sure we can still catch up to him! It's mm. fine. Hey, don't fall asleep now! So... very... sleepy... I was kinda curious, but I was too sleepy to care. But then... Whoa! What the? A few days later, I saw the guy's face on the news. The man was brutally murdered. He seemed a bit older, but... This guy looked exactly like me! And I knew this was the guy we saw in the mountains, because... No way! The murder scene, and the person responsible for his death? It was that cabin! And the police arrested Yuzuriha as their prime suspect! What's going on?! A few days later, when I met up with Akamatsu at school... Did you see the article? What article? Check it out! It's about that murder up in that cabin. Read it! It was one of those tabloid magazines. They did a whole story about the case. So the guy was her ex. Turns out the victim was Yuzuriha's ex. Wait, is this the guy she was talking about? I think so. She said she was hoping to run into him, but I didn't think it was for revenge. According to the article, this guy treated Yuzuriha like crap, and she went through a pretty rough breakup. She couldn't get over him, so she started looking for him all over the country, but came out empty-handed. She knew he liked to go hiking, so instead of chasing after him, she started working at various cabins, waiting for him to come to her. Wow. She's been doing this for 10 years. Damn. Oh, wow. Wait. <gasps> I couldn't believe what I read next. This article read, Yuzuriha. She was starting to forget what her ex looked like. At first, she was trying to forget about him. So maybe she forgot his face in the process. So every time someone that looked like him came to the cabin, she asked if they were using a fake name to be sure. The reporter interviewed one of the guests who spent a night at her cabin. She asked me my name over and over again. She probably thought I was her ex using a fake name or something. But she didn't stop there. The night when the guy went to sleep, he saw something terrifying. When I was sleeping, I heard this noise. It was coming from the ceiling. So I looked up and... And someone was staring at me from the crack in the ceiling. I thought it was a wild animal or something at first. But it was definitely a human being. Back then, I thought it was just a nightmare or something. But now that I look back at it, I'm... I'm sure it was the killer. She probably wanted to get a good look at me. To see if I was her ex or not. Then he ended the interview by saying... When I heard about this, I was terrified. This woman... She didn't have a clear memory of what her ex looked like, right? That means, if she even thought that I was her ex? I probably wouldn't be here today. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。勘違いで命を落とす羽目になるだとか嫌ですよね。まあ、そもそも命を狙われるような怖い目に遭いたくないですけども。何より復讐のために山小屋で待ち続ける執着がすごいですよ。絶対にその場に訪れる可能性だってゼロに近いですし、それほどひどい目にあったということなんでしょうか。皆さんはどう感じましたか？コメント欄に書い。
っていただけると嬉しいですまた少しでも怖いなぁと思った方チャンネル登録と高評価をお願いいたします